having trouble mixing your dough? Today, I'm gonna to show you all the secrets to working with sticky dough. My name is Julian Sisifo and let's get into it. If you are a beginner in pizza making, I would suggest hand mixing your dough. Start out using a medium sized bowl, preferably heavier. I'm using Pyrex. Step number one is auto lease. Auto lease is the time where you mix the water and the flour together before inoculating or adding any yeast inside your dough. This allows for the gluten structure to develop before the fermentation happens. So here I have water and flour. Also, you can add in your salt this way. The salt dissolves in the water. You don't have to add it in later. So this right here is the auto lease. You're gonna to wanna to let it rest for one to three hours long. No more or no less. This way, the flour and water will be hydrated before we start getting into adding the yeast and folding our dough. Finally, our auto lease is finished after three hours long. Take a look and see. So this here is my auto lease for the Polish recipe. By just letting this dough rest for three hours, look at this gluten development. You're going to want to squeeze this Polish into the auto lease. It's part of hand mixing pizza dough. You need to have patience and let the process work itself. I don't think it can get stickier than this. So right now we're going to stop this process and let it rest for 30 minutes. First 30 minutes has gone by. Now let's get ready to do the first fold. So what I told you guys, let's use wet hands and start to stretch and fold our dough. So with a wet hand, you're gonna go under the dough, pull up one side and throw it into the center. So the trick here is use quick movements. When stretching and folding, you wanna move very quickly. This way, nothing will stick onto your hands. In every stretch and fold, I wet my hand. Here, I flip the dough over, I'm gonna wet my hands again, and I'm going to slap and fold. Look at that gluten structure. Do you see the difference? Now let it rest for another 30 minutes. starting to rise a little bit. Repeat the same process. Stretching, folding. Turn, stretch, fold. Turn, stretch, fold. Turn, stretch, fold. Flip the dough over. Now, we're going to slap and fold. Make sure your bulk fermentation allows your dough to double in size. This is super critical. All the little gas bubbles within your dough are going to be trapped within that nice strong gluten structure. This ensures that your dough will be nice and strong and less sticky when you go ahead later and divide and shape your dough. So now we're going to let it rest, let the dough double in size, and we'll come back, divide and shape. Overall, the most important step is to be patient. Allow for 30 minute intervals at a time. This way, you can start to work your dough while the gluten is not too tense. Have fun making pizza, and don't forget to like and subscribe.